there friends and good morning Papa. Welcome to another battle pet video. In today's video we're going after a battle pet that's quite unique. Beat the infinite whelpling. Now the reason that I consider this one quite interesting and I'm featuring it into a video is because of just how sharp the edges are on this little whelpling. It's almost like when they were redoing the models of a lot of the battle pets, because you'll notice a lot of the battle pets start getting smoother and whatnot as the expansions go by because they're kind of fixing stuff. I don't know if he got missed intentionally or not, but he is jagged with sharp edges. He could cut glass with that chin, but he's still adorable as all heck. So let's go ahead and jump into the video and I can show you where you can acquire this one for yourself. To get started, you're gonna make your way over here to Kellendor and you're gonna head over here to Tenaris. Once there, you wanna come over here to the right hand side of the map, zooming in, you will see all the little spawn locations for this whelpling. It's just around outside the area for the Cavern of Times. Once you find the whelpling you're after, go ahead and battle it. Business as usual, nothing special is required. Now, as always, I use my terrible turn up because it keeps me from dropping it below one health. And then always to follow up is Father's Winter's Helper and my Rusty Snail because they get the job done. And the fun fact for the infinite wealthling is you better believe he knows what time it is. That's good, because most of the time I don't. Now let's go ahead and take a gander at the stats for this wealthling. Keep in mind what I read can change depending on the rarity level of the battle pet that you have acquired. Now for me, this one is common power and speed. And you may have already guessed that this is a dragonkin style battle pet. The first ability for this little one is Tail Sweep. A 100% hit chance deals 138 dragonkin damage or 192 dragonkin damage if the user strikes last. This is good against magic, not so good against the undead. Next you have Healing Flame. A three round cooldown restores 138 to 169 health plus half of the last hit taken by the user. Finishing off the row one abilities, you have Early Advantage, a three round cooldown, 100% hit chance, deals 154 elemental damage, deals double damage if the user has lower health. This is good against mechanical, not so good against critters. Jumping into the row two abilities, you have Sleeping Gas, a one round cooldown, a 100% hit chance, deals 77 dragonkin damage and has a 25% chance to put the target to sleep for one round. Round. Damage increases by 77 each time it is used. Maximum 231 dragonkin damage. This is good against magic, not so good against the undead. Following that, you have weakness, a one round cooldown, 100% hit chance, deals 77 magic damage and reduces the target speed by 50% and damage done by 50% for one round. This is good against flying, not so good against mechanical. And finishing off the road to abilities, you have dark flame, a three round cooldown, 100% hit chance, engulfs the enemy in dark flame, dealing 192 elemental damage and causing the target to receive 50% less healing for two rounds. This is good against mechanical, not so good against critters. And there you have it, the location and abilities for the infinite well plane. Again, like I said, this guy has a lot of sharp edges, but maybe it's intended to be that way. Who knows what's going on within this game? I sure don't. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving it a like. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make battle type videos every week and I would love to have you here as part of this amazing community. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today and I look forward to bringing you the next battle pet video. Bye for now.